Hello everyone, I'm Max Productions, also known as Smithy444, and today I bring to you an episode from my series I like to call How Play Smithy. Now the episode I bring to you today is Dominating on Nuketown, and as you see here I'm playing Search and Destroy on Nuketown. My class setup is the AK47U, perks are Lightweight, Steady Aim, Marathon, Killstreak is laid out as the 359 setup, so that's the Spy Plane, Care Package, and the Chopper Gun. Now as you see here, my equipment today are the two C4s, the two decoys, and the one frag grenade. Now some of you may be asking, what is this series all about? And this series is about where I break down my gameplay to share you my knowledge on how to play better and, you know, providing you tips and tricks, you know, in general. Now on my series, what I tend to do is I tend to, um, if I find out something new, I share it to you guys and hopefully... You can either play better or, you know, just find some new tactics. And as, as you see here, I got a, a nice double kill for the round ending kill cam. And the reason why I'm up there was a bit self explanatory, to be honest, because if your team's in the middle and we're progressing into the house, you know, I just went to flank them and they were there. So, yep. <laughs> okay, so here, as you're going to see, I'm about to chuck a frag over the bus. Now, this red square is where I recommend you chuck the frag because you're more likely to get a kill and it's a direction where you'll see my frag land in a second. Okay, as you see here, see my frag lands here, bang, he's dead. So, this is why you should chuck the frag in that nice red square because you hit the guy on a good spot, you know. When people will spawn in, you get him nice and early. Now, as you see here, this is the red square where I suggest you chuck a frag, semtex, or C4. Reason being, because so many people are likely to be up there, and as you see in a second, there was a guy, see, there he is. You know, you're just looking out the window. And there you go. Ra not round winning kill cam, it's the. Um, what is it called again? Round ending kill cam, I'm very sorry. And see, as you see there, got him nice and sweet. So, if you got a C4, I do recommend them. I think they're like 2,000 quad points, so if you're playing Nuketown, go for it. Now as you see here, I change it up a bit. As you see here, I'm, I chuck the frag grenade diagonal this time. And then the red square once again, this is where I recommend you chuck the frag to get a nice early kill on the game. And as you see here, this is where my frag landed and got a nice kill. So, um, some of you may be asking, where did you get all this extra footage, footage from? Well, Fitter Mode came into Call of Duty Black Ops, and I've started to use it. Reason being is that it makes my videos more interesting, and I can get different people's perspectives. So, like when I throw in the frags, you can see how the frag rolls and how it actually kill person. So, hopefully, you do, you do enjoy this. As you see here, I was like, "What am I doing with the C4? I never knew you could actually pick it up." And I was like. I'm too lazy to jump on the car to jump and hold square, but anyway, my friend got a nice kill with these pistols. Runs up the stairs and gets him pretty good. So um, yeah. <laughs> so um, hopefully, guys, you're enjoying this video. If you've watched this far, then please remember to rate, comment, subscribe. And you know, or well, you don't even have to subscribe, just come over, check out my channel. And if you like the content over there, then subscribe. And if you do subscribe, send me a private message and I will say thank you to every new subscriber. Just tell me you're from Project MV and you'll get a nice thank you message because, you know, I like to appreciate my subscribers. Now, as you see here, I was like, okay, where are these two guys? And I was like, okay, so I chuck a decoy here trying to lure the enemy out. And I was like, hmm. Okay, chuck another one. No one's running out. And then, I think in about 10 seconds, they released their RCXD car. And I was like, oh no. Because they are such a pain. Here we go. It's been deployed, the RCXD car. Now guys, do you, do you actually like them? I think they're just like, annoying. I may put a flat jacket on, but apparently it's going to be a patch to like, reduce the damage, because they're quite annoying. But, so it's like, okay, this guy got the UAV. This was this was the guy using the RCXD card. Getting shot. Sprayed him through the wood. And I just 
one tap through the bush and you get a kill so thank you guys for watching please be sure to rate comment subscribe and enjoy the rest of your day